Now, thousands of kids in the Queen City, they are waking up to walk over to their at home desk to start the school day, right? They're all virtual learning, but not everyone in the Charlotte area is doing virtual learning. No, Wake Up Charlotte's Chloe Leshner joining us live. So, Chloe, the, there are thousands of kids in private schools right now, and they are going into the classroom each and every morning. And so far, most parents feel, um, well, the parents we spoke with, I'll say, feel like it's the right call. Good morning, Carolyn. Yeah, private schools don't have to follow the same rules. Gaston Day School is open at full capacity with a lot of safety precautions in place. And two and a half weeks into the school year, so far so good. There have been no positive cases here yet. It's something that public school officials and parents can look to and learn from as they try to navigate how to move forward. Gaston Day School students are two and a half weeks into the school year. They're spaced out in the classroom and wearing masks, but all 500 students are there five days a week. It's a lot more different not seeing everybody, but I'm just glad we're here. Across county lines, CMS leaders are figuring out how to make the transition into some in-person learning. The only people preventing kids from being in our classroom now is our own preparation and readiness. Private schools like Gaston Day don't have to follow the same state guidelines as public schools. Sending sophomore Marco back to school wasn't the easiest decision for his parents. I have felt safe when he walks in the door. It makes me feel really good when he walks in the door and he's smiling or he's happy or his, he's his usual self. And students like senior Trisha Andres feeling the benefits of social interaction. I'm a very social person and I learn a lot better in person. Every family situation is different, but for public school parents itching to get back to some semblance of normal, there's some hope. We say this all the time, but kids really are resilient. He's just rolling with it. It's not, it's not terribly abnormal for him. A lot of CMS parents wondering when this will be their reality and they can send their kids back to the classroom. The Board of Education will hear reopening plans at their meeting next week. Live in Gaston County, Chloe Leshner, Wake Up Charlotte.